KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant, yet humid, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we have a sea of red out here. All the sectors inside the S&P 500, all the indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's off 245 points, 6 tenths percent, 1 and a quarter percent for the S&P, 67 percent, 2 percent for the NASDAQ, 400 points there, 1 and a half percent for the Russell, that's a 30 point move, 4 percent for the semis, that's down 116. Gold is off 6 bucks, silver's down 36 pennies, light recruit is off a buck 6, natural gas up 2 cents, and a 30 year treasury up one point, printing out at 126.17. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. We can see that we closed slightly below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday. We're certainly trading well below that today. We see a series of lower highs out there. The ES Mini is going to go target that 53.19.50 level. That's its TD9 count breakout area. And that's especially true as long as the spot fix index remains above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day, 17.25, the spot fix trading at 21.74. We take a look at the NQ. The NQ is going to be the first one to test its breakout level of support. That's at 18,383. If price closed below 18,383, then we're going to go likely test that by the D point bottom, and that low is 17,741.75. The US dollar index basically has tested its TD9 count breakout level. That's at the 100.425. If you can't bust them down, price should try to bust them to the upside. That'd be 101.94. Gold. Just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's uh, trading between 2560, that's your resistance point, and 2489, that would be support. In the case of silver, it got back inside its profile yesterday. It's trading inside it today. Uh, so your resistance point on a move higher is going to be at 2961 or $30.46. If we take a look at light speed crude, it has an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. The initial price objective, 6680. We get a bullish reversal candle as price approaches that area. That would generate a Gartley buy pattern. Natural gas has rallied nicely, had a nice rally yesterday, had a pretty good intraday rally the day before. And what price is doing, it continues to stop where a counter trend move would stop. That is the center of that bullish structured profile. That level is 227, 2.273. If price closes above that, we likely head up to the top of that profile at 239. We can see that 30 year treasury, if it can close above 126.30, that will, it's not a T9 count top, that's a sell the D point top. It'll negate that, it'll set up a larger A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous one, a wonderful weekend, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.